Hello world, my name is I am Forever Smart 88 and uh, welcome to my video tutorials. I'm going to be showing you from scratch how to write programs in these tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what software to install. You only need to install one thing. And uh, we're going to go to this link here and I have the link posted in the description so you can just click on that link when you go there this page will come up you're gonna click on visual C++ 2010 Express you're gonna click English and you might get a pop-up blocker that comes up if you do you right click here and click download file then you're gonna do the same exact thing again and then it'll work the next time around then you're going to click on run and it'll take a little bit if you don't have that pop-up blocker it should only it should come up the first time now when that's done running another box will come up that says run so we're going to run this as well we run it then it might ask you to for permission you're gonna hit continue you're gonna keep on hitting yes next I agree continue it says it'll take a minute or two my computer's a little slower it might take a little bit longer but while that's uh, loading here, let me minimize this here. So, so we're gonna learn how to we're gonna learn the all the uh, basic tools of how to write programs. So let's take a look at a program here. Let's say we take a look at Paint. I use Paint a lot. I edit sprites because it's it's simple. It's easy to use here okay we'll hold on off on that here now after that's been running as I said before we're gonna hit next now uh, see this thing here basically don't steal stuff so just say I have agreed I have read and accept these terms hit next just click install That'll, it shouldn't take too long since this is the express edition and this is all you need, you can get other editions as well, I have the ultimate edition which basically has everything because it's it was the best one out there now I only have the trial version because I just wanted to see what else was new on this but everything that we're going to be learning is going to be from the express edition because outside that a lot of the stuff really isn't a uh, standard C++ everything that I'm going to be teaching you is going to be ISO standard C++ now ISO <coughs> stands for um, international standard of organizations so if you get hired by a company to program something or maybe you know edit stuff m about every company is going to use ISO standard um, ISO standard co ISO standard code now there's a lot of things in this particular things er, in this particular uh, IDE that's not ISO standard there's extra stuff in there that can make your there it's already there's already pre-written code that hasn't been approved here and we're not going to learn any of that we're just going to learn the uh, ISO standard C++ and then when you get good at it maybe you can you can look around and and dabble in the other stuff which some of it is extremely helpful in pr when programming um ISO standards here 
Ah. So it's, here's the site if you want to look at it. You can you can Wikipedia it. Wikipedia it if you want. I say that right? I don't try to say that too fast. And it you can look that up later. So, Alright, so let's go back to Paint. So basically Paint is a program. You know, you can draw stuff with it. So somebody had to get together, or had to get a group of people together here, and uh, get this to work. And there's all kinds of things you can do with it. And somebody had to get the algorithms to make these buttons work the way they do. And somebody just had to get this to work. So when I hit this close button here, somebody had the right to algorithm to ask me if I want to save it. And then somebody had to write the algorithm to make it close. And there's other programs. Like AutoCAD is a good one. <coughs> now this... Now somebody had to get together to... You know, this is the same thing. This must have took a lot of time to write this program. Because this is used for 3D... 3D applications. Let me see where we're at. Oh, I don't have a time on me. So basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to be writing our own programs. And we won't get into things that are as complicated as paint. But eventually I, if you watch my previous video, um, I said that uh, I would be showing you how to write a few simple 2D games. <clears throat> like such as making characters move, making characters fire a weapon, more like uh, the Mario Brothers type games. Or if you're looking uh, from the aerial view, you can move up, down, left, and right. Those type of games. But basically, <clears throat> this right here is a program in it is used to draw stuff just to show you that somebody would have to write the algorithm to to make it do the things it does here and we have an object here but now this is actually this gets pretty complex here because this is considered you know somebody had to see the shading and when I rotate this the shading changes depending on how I rotate it so that must you know <coughs> there's all these little things that are going on now we're, we're not going to be writing anything so complicated as that, but we're going to get you started. We're going to be writing our first program in the next tutorial.